Well, it's our year in review issue, our annual year in review issue, and we have our fifth annual Mood of Canada poll by Nick Nams. And the country is in a very good mood. 63.5% of Canadians think the country is headed in the right direction, and that's always a classic textbook pollster's question about the humor of the public. Um, compared to, for example, 76% uh, of Americans in a New York Times poll who say America's headed in the wrong direction. So Canadians understand that we've come through the recession in better shape than any other G7 or G20 country. And uh, uh, Kevin Lynch of BMO, one of our contributing writers, and Karen Minske um, have, have done a global snapshot of the Canadian economy compared to our partners and competitors. And they've got the numbers to prove that we've come through the, the recession better than anyone else. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, a political year in review piece by, uh, by Robin Sears, one of our, our lead political writer, um, uh, reviewing the year in, in Canadian politics. Um, Catherine Kennell, who's a former head of news at Radio Canada, uh, is, uh, has done a piece on the year in the media, a very tumultuous year from Cairo to the Occupy movement and Wall Street. Um, all these new platforms are changing the news cycle and changing the way news is gathered and distributed. Um, She's done a very thoughtful piece on that from the view of someone who's been a senior insider as a news executive. And we have five uh, book reviews at the back of the book for Christmas, including a terrific review of a John Turner biography by David Hurley, uh, who, write, who writes that, you know, the first half of Turner's life is a bit like the good part of the Elvis movie, the second half kind of like, the, you know, how the ending is and it's not so good. Uh, we also have a major excerpt of the Turner bio, uh, and it's, it's a long overdue honor to Mr. Turner who's going to be at our, our lunch in, in uh, Toronto, our working lunch on the, on the 12th of December, so we're looking forward to that too next week.